Hi, I'm Alan Silk. I'm a shareholder at Stark & Stark. Uh, we're a regional law firm uh, located in New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. Uh, I head up our business and corporate group, and I've been doing this for a number of years. I've known Lou Grossman for some time now. We've used Lou, and Lou has been involved with us on crisis management matters. Lou, can you tell us a little bit about your company? Sure, Alan. Thanks for having me here. Um, my name is Lou Grossman, and I'm president of Grossman Public Relations Counselors in Yardley, Pennsylvania. We've been in business for about 17 years. I've been in public relations myself for about 30 years. And the last several years, we've been specializing in, in crisis communications and uh, work with a lot of larger and sometimes smaller businesses. You know, Lou, you read constantly in the newspapers where um, the article starts out with, we tried to contact the principals of the company, their counsel, whatever, and we got no comment. Right. And we all know that that's a problem. Can you explain why? Well, well the simple answer to that is when you read uh, no comment, um, the reader reads that you're guilty and you don't have your messages getting out, you don't have your side of the story. So oftentimes we PR people and you lawyers are in disagreement about what you can say. I like to, to talk to a lawyer and say, look, we're here to uh, defend the, the client's uh, reputation in court of public opinion. You, you, you're here for the court of law. We need to come to some agreement so that we don't say no comment because no comment looks guilty in the court of public opinion may not have anything to do with your case, but it, it does look guilty. So we need to come up with some, some uh, comment that the attorney and the public relations person uh, uh, come up with uh, for the benefit of the client. If the attorney doesn't have enough information but is contacted, but wants to have a dialogue with the newspaper, what do they say to them? I'll get back to you shortly. Well, there, there usually is some, particularly if you have a crisis plan, in place. There usually is some time where you can talk to the newspaper, unless you're on live television, then there's no time. But if you if you get a call, you usually can tell a reporter, tell a journalist, I, I'm in the middle of something, I'll get back to you. You convene your crisis team, your public relations person, the client, the lawyer, and you come up with a statement, and you have to do it pretty darn quickly. That's why the crisis plan is key. That's why having that process is key. So. Do I recommend lawyers talking to the media? Um, I really don't. The lawyers aren't trained to do, you know, work with the media, but sometimes they do, and sometimes a lot of lawyers, as you know, are very good with the media um, and, and get message points out while protecting their client. Some don't. You know, we'd all love to be able to say we have plans in place, our clients have plans in place, but if they don't, and they're acting reactively to the situation. Can you explain a little bit how you well, how that works? Well, indeed, many clients don't have a plan. So usually, what they do is the first call it goes to their attorney, and the attorney hopefully will call a public relations person. We come up with what we'll call a standby statement of something you agree with and I agree with, and you know serves the client. And then we do as much research as we can to try to manage the crisis ongoing. It's sort of a catch up, but it's better than you know just going willy-nilly without any sort of you know good public relations uh, sense to it so that happens a lot and um, you know we deal with it ongoing Lou I want to thank you so much for coming here and talking about crisis planning we know from our own experience how important it is and um, you know it's just great and hopefully a lot of people watch this and they'll understand the importance well, thanks, Alan, and uh, if anybody wants to contact me, you can uh, contact me at uh, www.grossmanpr.net, 215-630-6964. That's 24 hours um, available for crisis communication, crisis planning. Thanks, Alan, for having me.